coronavirus. <laughs> and of course, there's also a claim that Wuhan was the first city to get 5G. Wuhan, of course, is where the coronavirus outbreak started. There's no link at all. COVID-19 is caused by a virus, the same kind of virus as gives you flu and cold. It's nothing at all to do with 5G. Um, to be honest, that just looks like people responding to liquidity levels in the local market. Um, generally, as you're seeing, we're not seeing a lot of home options that you see there, so people just looking to reinvent their funds. And um, the mid level, the mid tenor market is looking like where the appetite is at the moment. Well, going forward, uh, we expect market to still respect liquidity, but on the long term, we still expect um, the market to yeah. take into consideration what's happening globally in terms of. Um, Pandemic effects and economic growth and so on, and um, the most ability to borrow more securities uh, from the global market and also from my companies in the market. So we are begging to the market in the but for now, the market is going to be like Looking at what is happening in the global oil market, um, Brent is going to be interrupting between countries with 5G and with outbreaks of coronavirus. There's a lot of concern because of the use of radiation more than 5G. Radiation that 5G uses is a different wavelength. It's not a wavelength that's called ionizing radiation. You can't disrupt your cells in the way that too much exposure to sunlight can. If you want to stay healthy around radiation, that sounds good. The people banning it aren't necessarily connected to the evidence and their priorities are more reassuring their constituencies. If you're not very au fait with the science, it's understandable why you might be scared, but getting to grips with the evidence and knowing that it doesn't harm you is really important thing. Big tech companies already spy on us. If you have a mobile phone, you can spy on your land. Do you use Google Maps? Do you use Android? Even if you use Apple, applications and devices are already tracking you. So 5G isn't going to bring anything additional to that party. Um, we have already a lot of things in our environment that are man-made. So we have electricity pylons, we have wind turbines, we have buildings, we have street lamps. This is an addition to the built environment. And obviously anything new is going to feel quite jarring. But I think we'll get used to it and I think we're not putting it in absolutely pristine places. There is quite a bit of concern about colony collapse, and in some ways we don't know what's going on with that, but we do know that 5G isn't a problem, again, because there's no mechanism for 5G bodies. 5G is going to give us, as consumers, a lot more connectivity, so your phone will be faster, you'll be able to stream video more quickly without buffering. More broadly, 5G is going to deliver a much more connected world. Instead of things talking to each other and to the cloud, they'll be able to talk across devices. So, for example, cars will be able to feed back traffic information between each other in real time. There's lots of good coming from 5G. Ah ha 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 